Hattie, they... Cats are like that, Hattie. What they do, they sleep all day and at night. Yeah! <laughs> not like that. Oh, they all are, Hattie. They only get the lady pussy passing them and they're stretching and doing the fur and all. Well, it's time to remember that I am present. You've got to learn the facts. You've got to learn them soon. He's out there now, all bright and... Hello, pussy, do you come here often? <laughs> Good evening, and welcome. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory stray to a bright a summer day when I kissed you and called you sweetheart? Do the chairs in your parlor seem empty and bare? Do you gaze? at your doorstep and picture me there I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long-range exploration of space. Just stop and think It's your decision now For you're the one Who went and broke the vow You'll be sorry Wait and see Spend your life in misery We 
wishing that you had returned to me. Goodbye, Goodbye. farewell, farewell. What is there to live for? Before you go, just think now, are you sure? Are you sure you won't be sorry comes tomorrow? You won't want me back again to hold you tightly in my arms. of this hemisphere should fail to meet their commitments against outside communist penetration, then I want it clearly understood that this government will not hesitate in meeting its primary obligations, which are to the security of our nation. We do not intend to be lectured on intervention by those whose character was stamped for all time on the bloody streets of Budapest. driving me crazy what did I do to you you're man mad I'm like you you know what they're calling you round here a silly little over they all know where I got it from don't they Oh, shut up. We enjoy it. I'm a nut. Hey, hey, hey. What the hell's going on? Jinx, maybe you waited all day in that filthy street. I told you to wait outside. Don't you wag your bloody finger at me. Oh, well, oh, then the erring daughter. <laughs> well, Josephine, you're a big girl now, aren't you? <laughs> Who's this, the father? Oh, dear, no. <laughs> Who's got a bun in the oven, then, eh? <laughs> He took a hundred pounds of clay And then he said, hey listen I'm gonna fix this world today Because I know what's missing
I felt that we were in reality standing up for the best in the American dream, and this problem can be solved in the United States if enough people give themselves to it, if they devote their lives to breaking down all of the barriers that separate men from men on the basis of race or color. I can say is our opponents who wanted us out of the Commonwealth have won their wish, but they've lost their cause. Will you still love me they want of South Africa. It is it does not only one man, one vote, it is black overlordship. A one party system, which is the natural system for Africa. That would be their aim. No man, no vote.
This is Robin Day at Checkpoint Charlie, the American army post with American military jeeps at the ready in the dingy back street called the Friedrichstrasse. This is where the Americans have been resisting interference by the East German police with their right of entry from here into the eastern half of this four-power city of Berlin, which lies through there. Just run and scare Each place we go So afraid That he might show Yeah, run and would arrest a lot of us and they did and we thought every arrest is so much to the good from our point of view so that the whole thing was a complete success a rose grows wild in the country a tree grows tall as the sky It'll be eight minutes or thereabouts before the missile is far enough above the horizon for the station to pick it up. And from then on, America has 24 minutes in which to take the necessary action. But if the missile is aimed at us, we have only four minutes. Perkins? Sir? I want you to lay down your life. Yes, sir. We need a futile gesture at this stage. <laughs> It'll raise the whole tone of the war. Get up in a crate, Perkins. Sir. Hop over to Bremen. Yes, sir. Take a shift there. Sir. Don't come back. Right, right. <laughs> Goodbye, Perkins. God, I wish I was going too. Goodbye, sir. Or is it au revoir? 
No, Perkins. <laughs> You're not so bad. I was terrified of you, but you're not so bad. Naturally, we're a little worried when we come to a new country and we, you know, you're not exactly like us, you know. <laughs> and we're certainly not like you, Bob. <laughs> I hope you're proud of me for not making any jokes about England. <laughs> I see nothing funny about England. <laughs> There's nothing to it. It's just a simple, straightforward two-piece. Well, we can't touch that skirt for a start. Why not? It's pin-tuck pleating. Well, we haven't negotiated a rate for pin-tuck pleating. <laughs> now, look, look. Uh, girls. Uh, uh, Lily. Uh, no. Uh, uh, Carol. Carol. <laughs> what a very becoming hairstyle. Would you like it? Yes, now, dear, look. Could you do me a favour? Oh, well. Oh, oh, no, you don't. The rules state quite clearly that no girl's to do the management a favour. I'm afraid we'll have to withdraw, convene and consult. Brother Carol, brother Lily. I'm very glad I've left school, although, of course, I miss being with my friends and girls of my own age, but on the whole, I'm pleased about it. Funny, but it's true. What loneliness can do Since I've been away I have loved you more each day Walking back to happiness Whoop oh yeah Said goodbye to loneliness Whoop oh yeah I never knew I missed you Now I know what I must do Walking back to happiness I shared with you listen to your voice. Well, I have to, you know. It sounds like interference on a cheap Japanese pocket radio. <laughs> well, I've been trying to develop an individual sound man, you know. How long do you think this is going to last? Now, look, don't kid yourself, Herbert. One magic morning, you'll wake up and find the great British public have got themselves a new Johnny Darling, and you'll be just another Herbert Nebbish. And then it'll be goodbye, La Dolce Vita, and hello, Labour Exchange. <laughs> and what will be your epitaph? Here lies Herbert Nebbish, teenage idol, created 1961, destroyed 1962. Mm -hmm. The lights and the harbor. of a heartbreak, lost love and loneliness, memories of your caress, so divine, I wish you were mine again, my dear, I'm on the sea of tears, sea of a heartbreak.
What would it be like to be this South African boy? Well, you could be fined or put in prison or whipped just for sitting on a seat reserved for white people at a bus stop. You have to live in one of the African townships built well away from the European town centers. You couldn't go to school with white children or to a white university. If you are over 16, you have to have a special identity card called a passport. And if you didn't have it with you, you'd be arrested. No prizes for guessing that next week's rock and roll year will be 1962 at the same time 7.30 here on BBC One. Coming next tonight, Casualty. Stay tuned. <laughs>